Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and I'm really excited to show you some brand new private stock wallets. These are all going to be available this Monday, November 8th around noon central time. Today we're going to go through each and every one of these private stock wallets. There's about 45 items to get through so we're going to move a little bit quickly. Let's start off first here with something brand new. I've never seen this one before. This is inverted black shell cordovan and we make this leather by flipping the cordovan backwards and finishing it on the wrong side so the intended side the shell side ends up with all these really cool random die marks and we've got three of these fat herbies available and they're all a little bit unique so we've got the inverted black on top of black on the exterior with the inverted black on the interior up next here is one of my absolute favorite wallets this is a long wallet in blood orange shell cordovan and the story behind the blood orange is that actually this is amaretto shell cordovan or at least it was intended to be amaretto and it came out quite a bit darker and more red than the standard amaretto and it also has this really interesting modeling going on on the uh, color here if you can see these little dark spots on the inside here we've got some really special stuff i've actually never seen this before so we've this on the bottom here that looks like a lighter, almost like a whiskey color, this is actually the reverse side of cigar shell cordovan with a Western texture embossed into it. So that's a bunch of adjectives that make that piece really special. And it's just a nice look on top of this amaretto shell cordovan in the center. Up next is another incredible wallet and a really beautiful piece of shell. This is some of the nicest shell that I've ever seen. And I feel like I've been saying that a lot recently. So maybe Horween has changed something. I don't know, but it's just a really nice sort of wet look on this piece of shell, a really bright, shiny luster and a great smooth surface. So this is color number four shell cordovan. It's a little bit lighter than the color eight shell cordovan and a little bit more brown when you compare it to the garnet shell cordovan. And on the inside of here, we've got a lizard color four shell cordovan with the vertical card slots on this Bugs Moran. Up next, we have an Apple watch band and this is in cigar shell cordovan as well, but this has the gator texture on it. These are all unlined straps as most of our straps are unlined. I find them to be more comfortable, like the Apple Watch band I'm wearing right now is English Tan Dublin. Without a backer to it, I find it to be terribly comfortable. Here's a vault key holder, and this is in magenta shell cordovan. This is a more vibrant, sort of vivid, purpley pink shade. And it's a really cool color. I, I kind of want to do more than that. I feel like this color is a little bit polarizing. Up next is a new leather from Horween. This is the Arabica Lux and it's a dark brown shade. In some lighting situations, this kind of looks a little bit black, but it's definitely like a coffee dark brown. It's really, really neat with this cool texture of the Arabica that we don't often find. The other interesting thing about the Arabica Lux is this is what's known in the world right now as T-Core. So you can see the edges of the wallet are that natural shade. And that's because this Arabica color has been applied onto a natural base. So you get this really cool two-tone effect with that great texture. We also have a black clip on the inside of this Capone Money clip. Up next is a key fob, and this is color eight shell cordovan with the Western texture. Here we have a fun one. This is English tan Dublin on a machine gun jack. This is a wallet that we don't currently offer as a normal standard item on our website, but this is a really special hide that is made on, on the bison hide. And the bison hide compared to the steer hides that we normally see the English tan Dublin on have a little bit more texture to it. Sometimes we call this the epic grain character. Up next, another beautiful piece of shell cordovan here. This is color number eight shell cordovan on a tall Tony the ant. Check that out. We have the bill slot extending all the way to the top. And on this piece of shell, there's something majestic about this huge piece of leather on the backside here. Uh, just the way it reflects the light, I find very fascinating. On the inside of this one, it's something we don't see very much, especially when we combine it with the tall exterior. This has vertical card slots on the inside, and this is reverse natural. This must have been one left over from July. Maybe we didn't get it made in time uh, with the 10 year anniversary stamp. So that's a stamp that we're not offering anymore. Here we have a Bugs Moran and one of the new shell cordovan colors. This is violet shell cordovan. And when you compare this to something like the magenta here, you can see the violet shell cordovan is much more of a straight up purple tone. It's got a really nice vividness to it. Uh, especially in the undertones of this color. I really, really like the violet shell. This is another one 
from the 10 year anniversary with the X stamp on the interior right here. We have reverse ultraviolet on the right. And this is really fun to see because on the left here, we have violet shell cordovan on top of ultraviolet shell cordovan. That should give you a good sense of the difference of these two purple shades. Here's another Bugs Moran. And this is a very unique piece of shell cordovan here. We've got a nice little brand on the exterior and it's 83. You might see the eight on the left and the three on the right here. But what's really interesting about this is again, like one of the nicest pieces of shell that I've ever seen. Really bright, shiny luster, super, super smooth. It has a really nice, rich feel. And on the interior of this Bugs Moran, we have some really beautiful marbled color eight shell cordovan. And the marbled color eight ranges from that more oxblood sort of burgundy shade that we see on the color eight shell cordovan. And it ranges down to a little bit more of a tan. We've got another tall Tony the Ant here with that exterior bull slot extended all the way to the top. Although this one is made in all reverse black shell cordovan where we get to show off the Horween ink stamp here on the outside left, as well as all the random die marks that we tend to see on the reverse sides of the shell. I really enjoy how all the reverse shell cordovan wears in, especially in the black and the reverse color eight. It's really beautiful. On the inside, we've got more reverse black shell cordovan on the left and right. And you can see in the center here, this is the traditional black shell cordovan. And I've got a few fat Herbies to show you. This first one here is color number eight shell cordovan, but this one has some of that epic texture we were talking about. This bits of striations and lines Lines of pattern. It's very smooth to the feel, but you might see a little bit of that texture appearing inside of the shell. It's almost like a quilted look. It's very interesting. On the inside of this one, we have a more traditional color eight shell cordovan, that classic oxblood dark brown burgundy shade. Here's another fat Herbie in a leather that I absolutely love. I'm actually carrying a wallet made out of this leather right now. This is the M's Chrome XL, and it's a variation on the classic Chrome XL leather from Horween, although it's much more grainy in appearance. It's got a lot more texture to it, and it is pit tanned and hot stuffed with different waxes and oil. So it's a little bit more dense and firm. I like it very much. When I say firm, it's not firm like a board. It's just got a little bit more stand to it than the normal Chrome XL, which is really heavily oiled. On the inside of this one, we have more of the M's Chrome XL in the natural color. Here's another leather that I absolutely love. This is the natural Latigo from Horween. I love the way the Latigo leather wears in and develops patina over time. I wore one of these wallets for a few months. I absolutely loved it. It seemed like people didn't really like this very light shade of sort of like a natural veg color, which I was surprised by. I think this is really, really cool and I, I love how it wears in. This natural Latigo on the inside and we're gonna include this Latigo by Horween hang tag and you get to read all about Latigo from Horween. Up next, I have a cigar shell cordovan two-piece watch strap and this one has the hand whip stitches at the top. Normally we do a stitch across the top to keep this fold kept down. These are also unlined straps and this one comes with a silver buckle. Moving on to some Johnny the Foxes here. Check this out. This is marbled black shell cordovan and it's one of the more interesting pieces of marbled black that I've seen and it's really again bright shiny luster super smooth piece of shell. I've seen a lot of really nice shell come out of the tannery uh, recently but check out this texture and sort of figuring on the shell itself. You might be able to see a little bit, bit of that here. In fact quite a lot of it on the left side and it's really, really cool, but it feels flat and smooth. So that texture is more of like a, a look as opposed to a feel. On the interior of this one, we have more of that really cool reverse black shell cordovan, which again is not black at all. It has a little bit more of this green shade and the reverse black shell tends to range from a lighter green to a darker green, like you can see on this card holder here. So this is actually an older piece of cordovan, so I can't give credit to uh, the more recent shell from Horween, but this piece of garnet shell cordovan, if you've been watching the videos here for a while, well, we've been cutting garnet shell cordovan from a huge batch that we bought a while ago because the shells were so nice. And this garnet shell is probably one of the nicest pieces of shell that I've ever seen. I again, feel like I'm saying that a lot, but this is exactly what you want in a piece of shell cordovan. And all the shell is very, very nice. It's almost like an extra level of niceness where sometimes they're extra bright, shiny, and smooth. Just have this more rich feel uh, that I really, really enjoy. On the interior of this one, we've paired it with a black horsehide Latigo. It's a little bit less expensive than the 100% Shell Cordovan Foxes. And here's another great Johnny the Fox in the Chrome Excel leather. And this is natural Chrome Excel. However, this time we've tumbled it. So this is called tumbled Chrome Excel. And you get all this little bit of texture here that you can see. 
It's very subtle. It's almost like the Arabica Luxe leather in a way, but the piping and the coarseness of the texture is a little bit more coarse on the Chrome XL when compared to the Arabica. On the inside, we've got more tumbled natural shell cordovan with a black horsehide Latigo strip down the center. I've got another key case to show you, again, in the Latigo leather. I love Latigo. I love the way it ages, and it's got a really great feel to it. I think everything about Latigo is really great. This color is also very interesting. This is teal latigo, which we do have some of available. We don't make a lot of stuff in the teal latigo. I find it to be a little bit less popular of a color, very polarizing, but the way that the teal latigo wears in is incredible. It gets much darker in color, but it also gets brighter and more shiny. And here we go, another incredible long wallet made by Lupe here in our shop. This is Western Color 8 Shell Cordovan on the exterior of this long wallet. This is the largest pattern piece that we offer. So I love to see this extra large context of shell, especially on my favorite texture, the uh, Western texture. I love that. On the inside, more Western shell cordovan, really beautiful look with the Horween ink stamp right in the center. We have another Fat Herbie here, and this is also in the M's Chrome Excel leather, but this color is russet, and it's a little bit more red, obviously, than the natural color. And sometimes, some angles, this appears very, very red, but in person, this is a little bit more brown, which is really interesting. It almost reminds me of like a color four shell cordovan. Here's another tumbled natural Chrome Excel Fat Herbie with that coarse sort of pebbly pattern. I find it very interesting. This is some of the nicer tumbling pattern that we tend to see on the tumbled Chrome Excel. On the interior, we also have that 10-year Ashland stamp. And if you like patina, this is some of the best patina that you'll ever see on this tumbled natural shell cordovan. And this is a fat Herbie. The tumbled shell cordovan is exactly what it sounds like. They take a piece of shell cordovan and they tumble it around in a wood drum and it sort of beats it up. Typically, a tumble pattern will give you what we just saw on that Chrome Excel, but on the shell cordovan, because the membrane of the shell never creases, you get a different look. And it almost swades up the shell a little bit, so it looks a little bit fuzzy in person, which is really interesting. But I think by opening up that shell a little bit in the tumbling process, it allows for the patina to develop even more dramatically. On the inside of this one, we also have tumbled natural shell cordovan. Up next is an extra thick, raw natural shell cordovan Apple Watch Band, and this is super thick. It's it's as thick as the uh, strap that I'm wearing right now, which is about belt weight. So we're about eight, nine ounces thick. And these two colors, the raw natural shell, as well as the tumbled natural shell, will give you the best patina development around. Here's another raw natural shell cordovan, but this is on the two-shot card case. We've got one card holder in the front and one larger one in the middle here. Nothing on the back. It's a little bit more of a minimalist vibe, but again, this is a great wallet for patina. Another two-shot card case to show you in my favorite texture. This is the West Western shell cordovan on the black color in the center here and on the back we've got black Dublin leather. Here's a variation on our Frank the Enforcer. This is violet shell cordovan with the hand stained violet edges which I find to be really striking. We've got a yellow stitch around the edge but what's different about this Frank the Enforcer is we only have three card slots. So there's one in the front, there's one in the back with the horween shell cordovan stamp and one slot in the center here to fit some cash. Here's another run natural piece. This one has a little bit more sheen to it, which is interesting. I'm not sure what happened to this piece, but it's got a little bit more oily of a waxy surface. It's got a little bit more luster to it. On the inside, more raw natural shell cordovan, but this is the vertical card slots on this Bugs Moran. And we've got another piece of Arabica Lux with that great texture and this interesting sort of two-tone effect with the natural on the edges and that coffee color on the surface. More Arabica Lux on the center of this Bugs Moran. So here's an incredible piece. This is the tumbled verdigris shell cordovan. This was actually the first color that they started tumbling the shell cordovan on. It's a really interesting sort of Coke bottle green shade. It's a nice little pale green and it's got all that really cool texture to it. This develops an incredible patina. We'll get much darker, a little bit more shiny. Now we've got the same look on the inside here. Tumbled verdigris shell cordovan. This is a really incredible fat Herbie. Up next is a Bugs Moran with a couple of little secrets. We've got an extra card slot on the outside left and on the interior, we've got some really cool stuff going on. I believe this is reverse blue shell cordovan for the front two card slots. And then we've got uh, marbled blue shell cordovan on the middle and then black shell cordovan on the top. We got this cool blue fade look. I think this was a wallet that we made two of, one of which was a custom order from Keith. Up next is another tumbled shell cordovan piece. This is tumbled color eight shell cordovan. Really cool color depth on this one. And there's something about the tumbling that makes the color uh, come out a little bit more. We get to see a little bit more of those undertones of the color eight shell. And on the interior here, we have color number eight shell cordovan with the gator texture. So here's another 
another really cool marbled piece, and hopefully this comes through properly. This is marbled color 8 shell cordovan. We have the color range from the classic burgundy, dark brown, oxblood color. Uh, on the top here, you can see a little bit more of that burgundy, and it fades down to a little bit more of a natural color, and we get all those colors in between. That's a really cool look. On the inside, we have more marbled color 8 shell cordovan. Up next, we have a tall Tony the Ant, and this is in a leather we don't often do. This is stone latigo, and this is made on the horsehide leather, so it's extra thin. You can see here uh, just how thin that is. On the interior, we also have more of that stone latigo. And we got another long wallet. It seems like we have a, a few uh, really special long wallets today. And this color here is that magenta shell cordovan that we were talking about before. It's a more vibrant look. It's a little bit more of like a pink look at some angles. It's really vivid. Uh, in color here, really neat. On the interior, check this out. This is marbled magenta shell cordovan. Really, really striking, especially in person. I hope that the color translates properly on the video here. Up next, we have another Arabica Lux wallet. This is the Tony the Ant in the Arabica Lux and more Arabica on the inside. We've got a little bit of a Horwin measuring machine stamp sort of peeking out in the center. And here's another incredible long wallet. Check this out, huge context on this tumbled natural shell cordovan. Check that out. You get all this bits of color range and texture. These are actually textured and feel, unlike some of the stuff we were looking at earlier. The marbled stuff doesn't have a feel texture to it. Check out the inside. This is ultraviolet shell cordovan with a lizard texture. And here's an absolute stunner. Check this guy out. And hopefully I can get this one to, to come across here. I think we were calling this Joker style for a bit, but this is the psychedelic green and purple. And you can see some of the green up here on this edge. Most of this one on the back here is a lot of this sort of purple. Uh, I don't know if the splatter looks is right, but maybe like a pooled look of all these dyes is very, very interesting. And the inside, we've got violet shell cordovan on the card holders on the left and right. And you can see in the center here, it's a little bit more of a green shade. It's like a aqua green. And this green in the center here is actually the reverse side of this psychedelic shell cordovan. Up next here is a vault key holder and another piece of tumbled shell cordovan. This is the tumbled cigar shell cordovan. And here we have another leather in color that we don't see very often. This is the green Dublin leather on top of what looks to like be some natural M's Chrome Excel in the centerpiece here, more green Dublin on the top. And this Frank the Enforcer has some more green Dublin on the back. Two more wallets to show you here. This one is Black Shell Cordovan on a Tony the Ant. I just love the way that the light hits and reflects the Black Shell Cordovan. On the interior, we have some reverse Black Shell Cordovan with incredible dye splatter on the left and right. And the last wallet, this is Hatch Grain Color 8 Shell Cordovan. And it's a really interesting sort of clean look when we impart that texture onto the Color 8 shell. I think it's a little bit more of a dressy vibe. And we also have the hand-stained Color 8 edges on this one, which I think increases the sort of formality of the look of the wallet. On the interior, we have more hatch grain Color 8 shell cordovan with the Horween ink stamp in the center. So man, so many great things in here. I don't, I'm not even gonna try to pick a stunner. I might go with that Joker style or some of those long wallets. It was really hard for me to pick what my favorite long wallet was from those four. Some of the best looking stuff that we've been putting out. So thanks for checking out the video today. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. And you can find all these items on our website this Monday, November 8th, around noon central time. All right, hope you have a great day and take care. Thank you.